Good Shabbos, everyone. Shabbat Shalom. I've realized that I have forgotten to do our cleansing breath at the beginning of service the last couple of weeks, and I've missed it. So if you've missed it, let's everyone who's watching take a nice cleansing breath. We'll let go of any of the aggravation of the past week. And again, we welcome you to our virtual Shabbat service, and many thanks to our organist and musical producer, Chris Prestia, for making all of this possible. So, as always, I am available to you anytime, either on my email, rabbi at ohevshalom.org, or on my cell phone at 717-460-6444, and I wish you all a very happy Shabbat. So let's begin by lighting our Shabbat candles, and that's on page 120. Melech 
Asher bidvaro ma'ariv aravim, v'chokma poteach she'arim, uvit buna meshane itim, u'machalit vet hazmanim, u'misader et ha'kochavim, v'mishmarotehem barakia kirtsono, v'orei yom v'laila, Kolelor mipane choshech, the choshech mipane or, whom I veer yo, who may be Lila, whom I deal bain yo, who vain Lila, Adonai, Sebahot Shemo, Ilchai de Kayam, Tamid, you love Kalenu Leolam Baed, Barochata Adonai, Ama Ariv Arabim. Page two sixty six. In each age we receive and transmit Torah. At each moment we are addressed by the world. In each age we are challenged by our ancient teaching. At each moment we stand face to face with truth. In each age we add our wisdom to that which has gone before. At each moment the knowing heart is filled with wonder. In each age the children of Torah become its builders and seek to set the world firm on a foundation of truth. Baruch atah Adonai, Oheb Amo Yisrael. Shema, page 267. Shema Yisrael. order and goodness. There is evil enough to break the heart, and there is good enough to exalt the soul. When will redemption come? When we grant everyone what we claim for ourselves. Long ago we escaped the tyranny of Egypt. Our people saw the power of the Most High. We learned God's presence redeems time and event, so we celebrate this power that makes for freedom. Michamocha, page 270.
rest, O God. Shelter us in the long, soft evening shadows of your truth. You are true protection and safety. In your presence we find love and acceptance. Watch over us as we go forth. Prepare for us as we return. Spread over us your shelter of peace over all we love, over our Jerusalem and yours. Baruch atah Adonai, haporei sukat shalom aleinu, ve'al amo Yisrael ve'al Yerushalayim. The Shamru, page 272. <laughs> Hakadosh, Vishim Hakadosh, Shukdoshim, Bahoyom, Yahadanukha Sela, 
Baruch Ata Adonai Ha'el HaKadosh, you are holy. Your name is holy, and those who are holy praise you every day. Blessed are you, Adonai, the holy God. Page 278. May these hours of rest and renewal open our hearts to joy and our minds to truth. May all who struggle find rest on this day. May all who suffer find solace. May all who hurt find healing on this day. May all who despair find purpose. May all who hunger find fulfillment on this day, and may we all live in such a way that this day fulfill its promise. Baruch Ata Adonai Mekadesh HaShabbat. We continue now with Shalom Rav on page 282. <laughs> We're not going to talk about that. 
But we are going to talk about one of the ending parts of the Torah portion, which is known as the priestly benediction. You all know the priestly benediction. It's done in churches and synagogues all over the world. You hear it when the services end, whenever I ask God's blessings on all of you. It goes, may God bless you and keep you. May God's face shine upon you. May God look upon you and grant you peace. What's interesting to learn about the priestly benediction is this. We ask God to bless us. And certainly in these more trying times, we need God's blessings every day. But sometimes we don't realize how much God needs us. And sometimes we forget that we have a covenant with God that's a two-way street. That if we didn't need God, as much as God needs us. And if God didn't need us as much as we need God, we wouldn't have a covenant at all. Because God can't bless us unless we are present for God. So now even at these difficult times, and times when we're beginning to feel a little bit of freedom, some counties have turned to yellow, even though Dauphin County is still red, we need to remember to be a blessing to those around us and to make sure that God understands the needs we have of Him as much as how much God needs us to do His work. And what is God's work right now? God's work is pekuach nefesh. It's the work of saving souls. It's making sure that if we're beginning to leave our homes that we social distance, it's beginning to understand how much it is important to wear a mask when we're in public. And it means to remember that the virus is not gone and is not going away, but that we need to be very careful not to spread it. And in that way, we are doing God's will. And at the end of the service, you will hear me recite the priestly benediction and ask God's blessings on all of us. But right now it's time for the Mishaberach to ask God's blessings on those of us who are sick and in need of healing. So I invite you to turn in your prayer books to page 371. <laughs> Oh, 
taken from us, those who died at this season in years past, and those whom we have drawn into our hearts with our own, as we remember those who have passed away and those whose yard sites are being observed, we recite the Mourner's Kaddish on page 598. Yet barach be yet tabach be yet pa'ar be yet ramam be yet naseh be yet hadar be yet halevi yet halal shemei kuncha berichu le'ela min kol birchata b'shirata tushbachata b'nechemata da'amiran b'yama b'yamaru amen yehe shlom al rabba min shemaya v'chayim amenu ve'alko Yisrael b'yamaru amen v'oseh shalom b'yamrama v'yaseh shalom. Aleinu ve'alko Yisrael v'yimaru, amen. May the source of peace send peace to all of us who mourn and comfort to all who are bereaved. And we say, amen. Let's end on a high note. When we can sing Adon alone with a lot of ruach and pep. And remember that Shabbat is a time of joy. And we'll sing Adon alone with great joy. Don't alone, page 625. <laughs> Shalom.